are driving from Colorado Springs to Boulder, Colorado. It's a very cloudy and foggy day, so it may take us a little longer than we expected to get there. But aren't the clouds just beautiful? Here we are in Boulder, Colorado on Pearl Street. Supposed to have all kind of really cool little shops and restaurants. There's an old church. Kind of cool. We'll go up there and see if we can get an age how old it is and what kind of a church. Uh, this is the home to Colorado University. Go Buffaloes. First United Methodist Church. Built in 1891. Cool Little restaurant, Lucille's Fine Food. We're gonna have so many to choose from, we're not gonna really know where we're gonna eat. But, uh, I wrote down a couple places. I'll let you know in a minute where we are. Maybe City Hall. It's got a crazy squirrel in it. Oh, hello, Catherine. That's the courthouse. Clock tower. Here's another memorial. Uh, World War veterans. That was before World War II. Here's normally a fountain. Really nice town. All right, now we're gonna have fun going up and down, looking at all the shops. One thing we did notice is a lot of really beautiful roses. Climbing yellow, red, I, I don't know what kind these are. There's some white roses. All right, let's go shop. All the time about Capital One Cafe. And I always wondered how real this was. So let's walk in this bank and see if they actually have a cafe in there. Yeah, Pete's coffee. Here? No. It's a bank. What? Like, what remember I've seen that on TV at Capital One Cafe? I always thought it was, you know, a joke. Uh -huh. But I guess they really have them. First stop, Peppercorn. Very cool store. All kinds of different olive oil, vinegars, hot sauces. Here's some hot sauce. Tea, different kinds of tea. Oh, 
Honey, jelly. jelly. <laughs> Whatever you name it, you, they got it. It's like, oh, that's and candy. Right. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Cookie. Cups. Got everything. I'll have to get the name of this when we go back out. Check on the books. All these are different kinds of cookbooks. I could spend a year in here. I'm trying to find a cookbook by Ed Foodie, but I don't see any. I'll bet Ed Foodie uses a lot of these books. There's also an upstairs. It's kind of like antiques up here. Oh, here's a very good book. Everything I need to know, I learned from this. Communication breakdown. Inside the house of tea. Smell that? Can you smell that? Oh, but that was a Chinese character. You can't look at those characters, you can't tell if it's Chinese or Japanese. Okay. French Quarter. So here's a cool store. Let me get the name of it. Lolo. Turkish dishes. Ah, rugs. Look at these chandeliers. Oh, gosh. All right. Light studio. This is beautiful. Mm. Here's the lamp we decided to buy. We didn't want a chance taking it on the plane, so they offered free FedEx delivery for us. So that was really nice. Check out their website at lolorugs.com. So many choices of where to go for a little snack.
Stop, have a little snack at a place called the next door. We're both gonna get a small order of the green chili. Colorado's favorite. And I want to try this uh, roasted balsamic beets. Sounds really good. So we're sitting outside. Just like the long stretch along the sidewalk. It's actually pretty crowded considering um, school's over. Then we're going to make our way to the tea, to the Boulder Den, I think it's called the Denshby Tea House. So far the rain has stayed away. Here's the green chili. Here's the roasted beets. That looks awesome. Looks like what I make. This, this sedimentary sandstone rock comes from Lyons Formation, formed in the Permian period 250 million years ago. Pure quartz. Particles are well sorted and approximately the same size. 24 tons. I didn't know they actually even made these. And here's a little something for my friends in Ohio. Pearl Street is a really cool area. It's a great place to visit. We were there, uh, school was already out, so it wasn't too crowded, so that was kind of nice. More beautiful roses and a hot sauce for everyone, either side. Check out our other YouTube channel, Ed Foodie, for a wonderful review of the Deshanby Tea House. For now, let's just take a look around the restaurant and their wonderful rose garden. Oh yeah, look at the entranceway, all the roses. Rose garden. Planted in 1998. Oh, this pink one's back here. Oh, So this was torn apart in Tajikistan and shipped all the way here and rebuilt. The next stop, the Celestial Seasons Tea Factory. We're dressed and ready to go on the tour. This is called the Tea Mixer. Unfortunately, it's the only part of the factory tour that we were allowed to film. Uh, the, the tour was well worth it. Uh, number one, it was free, but it was really interesting. And they make about 500,000 boxes of tea every day. And there were only three men working it. Everything else was uh, automated and robotic. And the peppermint room was amazing. I had no idea how many different types of teas that Celestial Seasons makes. 
Let's take a look at a few of them alongside the wall. Here we go. This looks familiar. Oh, I never seen some of these before. Roast aroma. I used to buy this all the time when I was younger, and I thought they quit baking it. So I'm gonna get this and take it home. So we were just went through the tour of the Celestial Seasoning Tea Factory, and it was excellent. I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Free sample. <laughs> Got to buy some Celestial Tea that I haven't had in probably 20 years. I didn't know they still made it. But if you get a chance, if you're around the Boulder area, this is well worth it. It's a free tour and just uh, very interesting. As we left the Celestial Seasons plant, we passed by a field that had a lot of uh, prairie dogs or gophers. I'm not sure what they are. Lunch at the Post Brewing Company. We were gonna go to the German restaurant, but they weren't open yet. Ooh, Catherine that. got the hot chicken <laughs> sandwich, Memphis style, which oh, really looked great. Sandwich. The green chili mac and cheese was fantastic. Our next stop is the Avery Brewing Company. Another free tour and free samples of beer. Avery Brewing Company. We'll take a tour. The Avery Brewery Company had many different types of beer. Um, a lot of them were fruit infused. I'm not real wild about fruit in my beer. <laughs> Coffee stout, hmm. Look at the alcohol percentages on these beers. You can see they got some pretty strong beer. The brewery contains an upstairs and a downstairs bar, and they also serve food. We started the tour, of course, with a free sample. One of the processes of beer making, you can see the beer moving around inside that container. The tour lasted about an hour and the tour guide was very energetic and had a lot of stories and very detailed. So if you're really interested in how they make beer and, and all the stories, it will probably be worthwhile for you. There just really wasn't too much to see. At the end of the tour, they gave us another free sample of vanilla bean stout. It was a very dark beer and very strong. 
Catherine didn't like it. Here are the outside facilities. So right across the street from where we're going to eat lunch, there's a little outdoor, they call it a band shell. I call it an amphitheater. Seats, I don't know, a few hundred people, maybe a thousand, I don't know. The lower clouds over the mountains really look it's cool today. We will be leaving for Denver today, so we wanted to take one last walk down Pearl Street before we left. Stopped at Amante Coffee, but not for coffee, we got tea. I got this stuff called something shaman chai, and it's, uh, it's like a latte, but it's really good. It's got lots of cinnamon and a little bit sweet, and really good. I forget what yours is called, but I've never had, I've never had tea like this. No, I mean the type of tea, but mine's I really like it. Oh, you like it? That sounds cinema, you think? There's a lot of cinema in there. Yeah. <laughs> we had an absolutely fantastic time in Boulder. Really enjoyed this city. Next stop is Denver. We're going to spend a few hours there before we get to the airport. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Have Fun, We'll Travel with Ed and Catherine.